Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the Swept Away quest. Now, for this quest, there are no requirements in order to complete it, um, and there are also no items needed either. Anyways, with that out of the way, it's now time for the quest starting point. So we're currently at the Drain the Village Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone Network. If you don't have this one unlocked, I have a guide in the description below, which helps you get full access to the Lodestone Network, and it's well worth having when completing all these quests. Um, but from here, we're going to head to the quest starting point, which is just west of where we are now, um, and you should see a caravan with some skeletons and cows, and obviously the quest star symbol on the uh, mini-map. Um, but once you get near this spot, you want to speak to Maggie to start the quest. So speaking to Maggie, she wants your help to finish making her delicious goulash in the nearby cauldron and to make the stew she needs you to get her broomstick enchanted by her three witch friends Aggie in Drainer Village, Betty in Portstrom and Hetty in Ringington. Uh, she would do it herself but her uh, sick skeleton ox babe cannot be left alone. So we need to go see each three of these witches and do a certain task for them in order for them to enchant the broomstick. Um, it's not too difficult and I'll tell you what order to go in for the quickest. So seeing as we're already in Trainer Village, uh, pretty much, we're going to go speak to Aggie, who is in the, in the westernmost house, um, and go speak to her about enchanting the broom. Uh, she'll tell you that the enchantment needs to be done in a special place, infused, infused with magic pizzazz, and agree to teleport and you'll be taken into a small clearing with a sand pattern created at the heart of it. Um, Aggie informs you that a specific sand symbol contains hidden power which can be harnessed into the broomstick. So you need to basically make uh, sweep out four parts of this uh, sand area to make four triangles. Uh, easiest way, just watch what four lines I sweep out with the broomstick and that's what you need to do. Um, once you've done that correctly, uh, speak to Aggie again and she'll enchant the broomstick uh, and then you'll be tele uh, teleported back to Drainer. So once you've done that, we're going to go head to uh, Betty's uh, house in Port Serim. So if you teleport to Port Serim using the Port Serim Lodestone, and then once you arrive, you want to head to the Magic Shop, which is located the very north of Port Serim, I believe. Um, speak to Betty and tell her about Maggie's broom. And although she'll be happy to enchant it, she requires her wand, which is stored uh, locked in the basement. Uh, and she, she suggests talking to her assistant Lottie for help in retrieving it. So climb down the shop basement and speak to Lottie, who tells you that the wand, wand is secure in the nearby chest and the key to unlock it is in a form of puzzle. You need to put the uh, animals that are all in the different cages in the correct um, chamber. Lossy will give you a magic slate that will help you keep track of the animals locations while you're moving them around and keep in mind that the animals can only be moved uh, from one cage to the other like right next to each other and you cannot have two animals in the cage at the same time but I'll talk you through the solution. So this is what you need to do so you need to move the blackbird to the holding pen then you need to move the rat to the blackbird pen then you need to move uh, the spider to the spider pen then the lizard to the lizard pen, then the rats back to the rat pen, and then the blackbird back to the blackbird pen. So really not too difficult to do actually in that. Um, and after completing the puzzle, you can go open the chest and search it to obtain Betty's wand. Go back upstairs and hand over the wand to Betty, who proceeds to enchant the broomstick for you. And now the final witch we need to speak to is Hetty in Remington. So we're pretty close to Remington now, so we're just going to walk over to Remington Village from here. Um, she is one of the seven houses, I believe. Uh, there's only a few houses around this area, so you should find her eventually. Um, and instead of enchanting the broom, she says that she will make some broom ointment for you. However, she needs a newt to complete it, and she'll tell you to get a newt from her basement. So go down the trapdoor south of the house and talk to Gus, the delivery ghoul, and he explains that he mismatched labels for the crates located in the basement and ask you to correct the labels before he lets you take a newt. Gus will give you three labels, a newt label, a toad label and a newts and toads label and you must put these labels in each of the three boxes correctly and the combination is different for each player. Just keep in mind that all of the boxes are mislabeled so they, uh, what is currently on there will need a different one. So this is the best solution to uh, finish this easily. Uh, if you check the crate labelled Newts and Toads, as we know this label is incorrect, um, you want to place the sign for the creature you extracted on this box. So if you've got a Newt, add a Newt label. If you've got a Toad, add a Toad label. Of the remaining two crates, one will have the label of the creature you didn't select. Um, so in this example, Toad, um, you want to add the Newts and Toads label to this and then add the remaining label to the last box. Um, if you've done it correctly, Gus will tell you. If not, he can read 
reset it. Um, it's it, the only other way you can do it is just do a trial and error. I think in total there's like six different possibilities it could be with a label. So even if you just did a trial and error, you would eventually get it right. So um, if you get really stuck on this though, because I know it can be a bit of a pain, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll tell you what order to do it in. That should hopefully help you out then. Once you've got them correct, take the newt out of the prop uh, properly labelled newt crate and go back up and talk to Hetty to get the ointment and then use the ointment on the broom. Um, once you've done this, we've now got all uh, three enchantments on the broom and you want to take the broom back to Maggie and Drain the village um, to finish the quest. Talk to Maggie and she'll explain that since you have enchanted it, you have the honour of stirring the goulash in the cauldron. Uh, so stir the goulash in the cauldron the broomstick. And after this, talk to Maggie again and she'll give you a bowl to drink the goulash. And it will come up, congratulations, you completed Swept Away Quest. You awarded one or two quest points, depending on whether you did Witch's Potion or Sheep Shearer or not. Um, you'll get a broomstick, ten portions of experience giving goulash and a bowl to collect it with. Uh, each drink gives experience equal to ten times the corresponding skill level. Um, so if you choose a level 10 skill you'll get 100 XP, if you choose a level 90 skill you'll get 900 XP if that makes sense. Uh, you'll get access to the Purple Cat mini quest, um, a Purple Cat is for members after talking to Wendy and completing the mini quest. You'll also get two Treasure Hunter keys and two Hearts of Ice. Now there's some also additional uh, rewards um, that you can do um, to gain magic experience using the broomstick. Now I, ha I won't show you um, how to do it in this guide but I will just tell you roughly how to do it is very plain and simple. Um, all you need to do is take a broomstick to a specific witch when you have the required level. So for magic level one, if you take the broomstick to the sorcerer's apprentice in El Carid, they will enchant it um, to give it the ability to fly the broom to the sorcerer's garden. Um, but you must complete a diamond in the rough in order to talk to the apprentice. Um, if the quest was completed in RuneScape Classic, then you may need to speak with Osmond first. Once you have 33 magic, go speak to Ali the Hag in Pona Viak and she'll enchant it and give you uh, 1,997 magic experience. When you have level 53 magic, speak to the old crone in the house east of Slayer Tower and she'll give you 7,139 magic experience. Uh, when you have level 73 magic, go speak to Baby Yaga on Lunar Isle, which also obviously re uh, requires a Lunar Diplomacy quest and you'll get 10,338 magic experience. Um, and then when you have level 93 magic, Magic, speak to Cardia in the Underground Pass and you'll be given 14,979 magic experience. So there's quite a lot of potential experience there when you have the required levels. So it's more of a case of not forgetting about um, getting these when you do have the required levels. So, But yeah, overall, pretty good quest and the experience giving Goulash is pretty handy. Um, you can come back and have it at any time. It doesn't have to be straight after the quest. You can wait so you've got a really high level skill and then you'll get more experience for that skill than using the Goulash. But completely up to you. Um, and I will have a guide on the Purple Cat mini quest when it's available. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I don't think you'll get stuck at all on this guide, how, apart from maybe the uh, newts and toads bit. Um, but if you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.